The world is on the verge of a global food crisis. Rising food prices can plunge millions more into poverty and destabilize the world as we know it today. Close to 870 million people are chronically hungry. 2.5 million children die of hunger every year. To make things even more challenging, the world population is forecasted to grow from 7 billion today to over 9 billion in 2050. Every minute, the world population grows, with another 158 more mouths to feed. The biggest majority, 154 of these mouths, are expanding populations in emerging and developing regions. Not only is the world's population getting bigger, but it's getting older, wealthier, and diets are changing as well. If we continue consuming as we are today, we will need the equivalent of two planets Earth before 2040. If everyone lives like an average resident in the Western world, a total of up to four planets Earth would be needed to regenerate humanity's annual demand on nature. One third to half of globally produced food is wasted, an amount big enough to feed two billion people. While in developed regions, a significant share of this usually gets wasted on the end consumer side, in developing regions, food waste occurs through poor infrastructure before it even reaches a consumer. Higher food demand will have to be realized with less available arable land, less water, fertilizers, chemicals, etc., and fewer emissions. Productivity gain of major commodities has slowed down to 1.4% per year. To meet rising demand, it should be at least 1.75%. The last 20 years, productivity growth for wheat decreased to 0.5% per annum. A similar trend holds true for rice, so the two most important staple crops in the world have had almost flat yield increases due to a lack of sufficient investments. We have entered an era of scarcity with higher and more volatile prices and the battle for agri-commodities will only intensify. The economics of farming are not sound. Although prices are rising, farmers' margins have improved much less than prices of agri-commodities would suggest. Farmers get squeezed between highly consolidated upstream farm input suppliers seeking to maximize their returns and downstream customers seeking to capitalize on strong demand. Farmers cannot resolve the food security issues alone. This is a shared responsibility of global consumers, retailers, producers, traders, governments, academics, banks, and farmers. There is common ground between farming and cooperatives. Both are about the long term, about strengthening the community, about sowing today to harvest tomorrow, about a sustainable and self-sufficient future for us, our children and theirs. Cooperatives help develop good farmers. Good farmers feed the future. Good farmers have the future.